All right. Hey, Susan, what was your favorite uh, cartoon when you were growing up? You know, I had so many of them. Um, I'm going to say... I used to watch Bugs Bunny a lot. Bugs Bunny. Uh, yeah, I like Top Cat. Oh, Top Cat was yeah. good. Yeah. Um, let's see, what else? Mighty Mouse. And I love. <laughs> and then uh, having some southern roots myself, not living in the south, but having uh, family from the south, I always enjoyed Huckleberry Hound. Huckleberry Hound. And, and here we are in Huckleberry Hill. That's right. Let's show them. Huckleberry Hill. Right there. Well, let's pick each one. <laughs> now, I look Huckleberries up because I wasn't familiar with what and they're supposed to be like large dark blueberries mm. and in taste they may be tart with a uh, similar to that of a blueberry okay well that's where we were in our last one that we uh, that you hopefully saw yesterday and then here's where we are today we're still up at a pretty high elevation we just passed a lot of homes and stuff that were like little hidden castles. Uh, uh, you know, sometimes driving in 17-mile drive, I feel like uh, I'm um, uh, in, a, in a castle with little hidden passages and stuff. Yeah. You know, I always drive by this whole area, not realizing the rich, uh, well, rich, but the uh, depth of, uh, of different uh, homes and... Uh, mm -hmm and uh, li uh, life uh, that are going on here. But anyway, here we are at Huckleberry Hill. I'm going to get out and show you a few of the views here. Um, I think the thing that stands out most about Huckleberry Hill is the, um, the view, of course, because you actually have the open, we're out of the bay here, so that's the whole Pacific Ocean that you see in the pass there. And it's also stop number two on 17 Mile Drive, if you're following um, it, uh, the sights in sequence. And it's just stunning. You can even you can even hear some of the ocean down there, but you also have a combination of the pines and the ocean. And it's just stunning. You know, I feel like I'm up in the Sierra Nevadas yet there's the ocean. Kind of the same feel sometimes you get when you go to Lake Tahoe. <laughs> Just beautiful. So, uh, take in this treetop level view at Huckleberry Hill where you can see Santa Cruz in the distance. So I'm going to point out Santa Cruz is kind of beyond that tree there. The Huckleberry Field Hills, which have been set aside as a permanent preserved forest, were rumored to be frequented by writers Robert Louis Stevenson and John Steinbeck. And why wouldn't they? What a great little treasure this is. There's more to it than this. I don't really uh, want to go too far with uh, Susan and Paul just in the car there. But um, oh, and you can see a fishing or whale watching boat right, right out there. And what... We're seeing right there is pretty close to a Silomar and Point Pinos. Okay. And uh, this bench here, we're actually looking for a place to picnic, so this wouldn't be a bad one either. So mark that in your mind. Almost all these spots, all these stops on 17 Mile Drive have some kind of bench seating or, or something which would be lovely for uh, if you're picnicking or uh, want to sit and take in the view. But yeah, and by the way, uh, you see a little bit of breeze. I'd say the temperature is uh, pretty typical for here. It's a little bit hotter up here at the top of the hill because you're getting some direct sunlight and you're a little bit removed from down there uh, with the ocean breeze. But for the most part, I want to say we're not even over 70 right now. And it's, uh, what, the 17th of September, 2019. All right, I'm your Huckleberry, Huckleberry Hill, folks. 
This is a raft of wandering otters. We're showing you 17 mile drive. Come join us.